Changes in the future are unpredictable. But let me just take a slice at a crystal ball. So there's three parts of endodontics. There's the cleaning the root canal system, there's shaping, and then there's the filling or the obturation. And there are new technologies in cleaning. There's little vacuums, there's lasers, <clears throat> um, many technologies we haven't even thought of, which are being tested now. And like anything, a lot of these new technologies are highly expensive and complicated, but they get simpler in a short period of time. The actual shaping of root canal systems has essentially been conquered. Uh, we have metallurgy and instruments that do a superb job depending on what shape you want. You can find an instrument that will make that shape. And so I think there will be a little less there, but shaping becomes less significant as we do the third part of the triad, the cleaning, the shaping, and the obturation. If we can clean the root canal system and shape it minimally uh, or, or not shape it at all, and then we need a special way to fill the root canal system, whether it's a squirt gun or a uh, laser, zip it all up, or some high-tech space-age thing. Uh, anything, anything can happen. Um, is it going to happen big time in the next five years? No. But in ten years, yes. Because we're living longer, and because therefore we need dentistry on those teeth that we have, we're piling more dentistry on them, fillings break, <clears throat> restorations break, we got to put new ones on. The pulp, which is the root canal system, shrinks away. And the pulp can either die, resorb, as dentists know, or it becomes smaller. So canals are becoming smaller and smaller and they're shrinking away from the axis cavity. So the, the, the one trend that's occurring in biology is root canal systems are getting smaller and so we gotta get better at it. Everybody's looking at what can we do to make things better, more predictable, um, and also safer, and also easier.